the anxiety. My heart is racing. I'll never surrender. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Friday. I have something super exciting to share with you guys today. Remember a couple weeks back, way, way back, that I said something exciting was coming, but I couldn't tell you what it was yet. Well, this is that video. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on. I've got new fish videos every single Friday and an occasional Tank Tuesday. I'm part of this like reef group. I think I've mentioned it a couple times before. Some of the admins are wholesalers and have access to very high-end corals. They'll pass it down to us in the group at an affordable raffle rate. That way they make some money and we also have the chance to win a freaking awesome piece of coral. I don't really enter them too much just because, yes, my $20, can get me a super sweet coral, but the can is, is what gets me, you know? Like $20 for sure can buy me a different type of coral. Granted, it won't be as high end, but it can't. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm a little confusing. But anyway, I saw this one and I was like, I, I have to go in on it. I just have to. It was a New York Knicks torch. 20 spots. Each spot was only $10. $10? That's right, $10. So I was like, all right, let me get my number. And then I said, you know what? Let me do two. Let me just do two right on top of each other because I'm not gonna let it. The raffle right before, I did do one other one and the number that I was gonna pick because nobody was picking it ended up winning. And I was like, nope, that's not gonna happen again. I'm picking that number. So I got two numbers, two numbers. I showed my mom, she happened to want it too. She was like, oh, I'll do one too. Put one. So she put in another 10 bucks. So technically three numbers, I did two though. This raffle filled up so quick because this piece was just beautiful. Anyway, we do the spin, my mom and I are watching it, and I'm like, the anxiety, my heart is racing, I, I never get like this, and I was just like, oh man, I hope I win this coral. Ding, 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 the wheel goes around, around, around. Not going down, I'm gonna stand my ground, till the final hour, till the fight is over. Gonna soldier boom, cause I'm a nummy of one. So the fight is over. I won the coral. I won the coral on the number that won previously that I said I'm not gonna let this shit happen again. And that is the number that won the coral. For $20, I got a beautiful, humongous New York Knicks. I got into my car and I raced over there to pick it up ASAP. Actually, just kidding, I didn't because this was happening during like the tank crisis. So I actually went over there to pick it up like almost a week later. Anyway, I still raced in my car and I got over there and I got the coral. I got it in the car seat. I buckled it all up and then I brought it back here. And then here we are. It's acclimating right now. Oh, he's even got some gold popping out because my lights are blue right now. It's a little bit late in the day. Oh, look at him. He is freaking a beaut. So I'm think, oh, look at that green mouth. Put you through, I'm so excited. So obviously I wanted to wait an extra long time before getting this guy, just because remember the other torch had Paula bail out and I definitely don't want that to happen to this one. I'm hoping we're in the clear, but you know, at some point you just gotta, you just gotta go for it and just hope for the best. I'm gonna temp acclimate him for a while. In the meantime, I think it's finally time that we place some of the other corals. I don't wanna put him onto there because I think I'm just gonna let that be encrusting kind of stuff. And I don't want it to be hitting other stuff, how the other torch was kind of having a wide sweeper. So I've decided that I'm gonna put him over here and have kind of a euphelia garden going. So I think I'm gonna put him right on this ledge right here. I also think it'll look really cool having a nice little wave Bless you. In the meantime, I don't want to place all these corals yet, but I do think I want to place the Tropic Thunder, and I think I want to put it right there. Like, right at the top of that rock. I think it's going to look really nice. There's nothing, like, peachy here. Actually, that's a lie. The pink hippos are right here. But anyway, I think it will look good there. Gluing on these rocks is literally the worst. There's so many pores, and it, I feel like it never freaking sticks. Oof, that looks good. I don't know where to put this red and teal favites. Um, I have to do a little bit more research on it. I do want to place it pretty soon because it's loose and not on a plug and it kind of keeps floating around. I also want to put this Jingle Bells 
on this piece right here, but I'm kind of waiting until I move this frag rack to the other side. So that way I have more light reaching right here. I can't move this guy over there until I get rid of all those grafted Montes, which they're not ready yet. Almost though, almost guys, almost. I feel like he's as ready as he's gonna be. Come to mama. Oh, such a freaking beauty. This is exciting. There he is. I'm aiming for right in that little crevice right there. So I think I'm going to have to cut the bottom of the frag plug off. This ought to be good. Ah, got it. All right, going up. I think I have to move this pump just to, oh, that thing is freaking beautiful. I have to move this pump a little bit higher though, because I don't want it to, it's like the flow is right here and I don't want it to be too close to him. It's already freaking, oh my gosh, it's so nice. I just put him in and he is already opening up. You can see that gold and you could only see a couple specks right now of the mouth, but give it a little bit longer and I think it will fully open and you'll be able to see the mouth completely but look at the gold stripes on that thing oh my goodness he's in there but i'm not too sure he's gonna open tonight so i'll just check in tomorrow and hopefully he will be nice and settled in and flowing and beautiful and we can enjoy him in all his glory in the meantime make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn those notifications on because new fish videos every single friday with an occasional sprinkle of a tank tuesday have you guys ever put glasses on top of glasses to be able to see some sick coral whoa and we are back. We are two days in now and the torch is loving life. We got him hanging out over here on the edge of the freaking, you know, what is it called? The bridge. I did redirect the flow a little bit because before he was kind of standing straight up like if he got electrocuted. So I think he's good now, but I don't know. Maybe he needs a little bit more flow. You guys let me know what you think. With the blues on, you could really see the green mouth peeking through. Without it, you can't really see much, but with it, it's a beauty, so I'm just gonna walk around my house with uh, orange sunglasses from now on. That nice green mouth is what makes the New York Knicks the New York Knicks, supposedly. I don't know much, but that's what they tell me. It also looks like it's gonna be splitting pretty soon, potentially, maybe, I don't know. I think this corner looks awesome. I just need a couple more torches along the edge here, and then we will be good to go. Maybe some lime green ones, that would be nice. Yeah, maybe we'll go there next. The corals over here kept falling, so I finally placed them. I put the little uh, Jason Fox Favites down here. Clearly there's a little piece of super glue went all over my hands, it made a mess, but I thought it would be really cool if it starts to cover all this up. I also placed the Fruity Pebbles up here, and then that is the, I think it's like Raw Rock Tropic Thunder or something, Montipora. I don't know, maybe that will start looking cool. Some good color pops over here. Place the Jingle Bells. I was gonna wait until I got rid of this frag rack, but you know, I said, screw it, let's just put it there. The goal is to get that to cover that tripod thing, looking thing there. A few up here that I'm letting hang out and trying to decide what I wanna do with them. That is a story about the $300 torch raffle that I won. Super pumped about it. I'm super excited to be starting that Euphelia garden over there in that corner. I think it's gonna look really nice. Let me know if you guys think he has enough flow or if I need to do more or less or what the deal is. But in the meantime, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on because I post new fish videos every single Friday. So make sure you guys are here for it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out and lets me know that you want me to keep making these fish tank videos. Thanks so much for watching guys and we will see you in the next one. Later. Surrender.